Hi, I'm Damian Josephsberg from Equip, and today we're going to be talking about gas turbine internal alignment. The first thing that you have to remember when you do the gas turbine internal alignment is that you can only take the alignment readings with the top on. All right. This is because in a gas turbine, the top is the majority, or not the majority, but a lot of support for the turbine. All right. So by putting the top on, you're creating the structure to mimic the online running of the turbine. And when we take our internal alignment readings, we want the bores to be as close to its online running position as possible. So we want to make sure that whether we're doing a frame 7 alignment or frame 5 or a frame 6 or we're doing a 501 alignment, that we have all of the necessary and heavy components bolted back onto the turbine. All right? Now, we don't have to have all the bolts back in. What we normally like to do is have every other bolt in and torque down to specification. Once we have that, what we want to do is our internal alignment the same as we would any other type of internal alignment. And that's using our same procedure of first dimensions. Okay? We are going to model up turbine axially, going from our bearings through any internal components, whether it be our compressor section, our exhaust section, uh, a torque tube, any of those internal components going all the way to our next bearing. And then if there's a third bearing, even to that third bearing. So we have our turbine dimensioned up. Then we're going to want to take measurements. All right, and we take these measurements by bracketing inside of the turbine and probing around the bore surface. We want to do that to ascertain our center position of each bore and then relate those bores to each other. Um, we usually do laser alignment when we do a gas turbine internal alignment. And so what we'll do is we'll set a laser up and shoot the laser through the turbine and that'll be our reference line. It'll act as a datum and then we'll measure each one of these bores We'll know the center of each bore, and they'll be related to the laser so that each bore can be tied together inside of our data. Okay? Then the last thing that we're going to do is we want to look at our results. Okay? We're going to want to look at how each one of these bores deviates from each other. And when we're doing that, depending on what kind of turbine that it is, there'll be certain set points. But what we're usually going to do is set up a set point through two of the bearings, and that'll be our static reference. And then we'll look at vertically and horizontally how each one of these bores deviates from that center line. And then we can make our alignment moves based on this set point, whether it be moving a bearing or moving one of the other internal components by sliding them on each other. There's a lot that goes into doing this gas turbine internal alignment, but as long as you follow these steps, you're going to be able to do a very good internal alignment on your gas turbine. Thank you very much. I'm Damian Josephsberg from Equip and I'll see you next time.